With a manually operated valve, the closing force is defined by the operator. Diaphragm valves with a metal valve body can be exposed to very high temperatures depending on the diaphragm material. At high temperatures, the diaphragm is very soft and can be overloaded or even damaged by turning too heavily on the hand wheel. For this reason, all manually operated GAMU diaphragm valves that are specifically used in the pharmaceutical, food and biotech sectors are fitted with a closing limiter as standard. This can be used to set the closing force and to protect the diaphragm. This results in a longer service life, longer maintenance intervals and increased operational safety. The GAMU 654 and the GAMU 653 types shown here can optionally also be supplied with an opening limiter, which can be used, for example, to set a specific volumetric flow. We will now explain how to set the closing and opening limiters. The adjusting screws for the closing and opening limiters are located beneath the plastic protective cap, which needs to be removed. There is a recess in the cap for this. Using an appropriate tool at this point, gently lever off and remove the protective cap. The procedure is identical for both valve types. To set the closing and opening limiters, the hand wheel must not be under tension. That is to say, it must be easy to rotate. The green plastic screw that is used to limit the opening stroke must first be removed. The stainless steel screw is screwed fully home up to the lower stop in a clockwise direction. The valve is then tightened hand tight until line sealing is achieved when cold using the hand wheel. Now unscrew the stainless steel screw anti-clockwise up to the upper float stop. The travel stop is now set. The opening limiter is used to set the opening stroke, for example to specify a maximum volumetric flow. To this end, the valve is moved into the correct position for the desired volumetric flow. A suitable reference instrument is used to check this. Once the desired position is reached, the green plastic screw is turned clockwise as far as it will go into the stainless steel screw. When doing this, hold the stainless steel screw with your finger to prevent it from moving. This defines the maximum opening stroke. The position of the screws is fixed in place by fitting the protective cap with its internal locking surfaces. This completes the setting of the closing and opening limiters. If you change the diaphragm at a later point in time, you must once again check and, if necessary, readjust the closing and opening limiters.